name's Derek. I was just hung up on by Officer Corbett, and is, is that pol like is that policy to hang up on people who are calling with questions about the police dude? Okay. Well, what would make it legitimate for an officer to hang up on a person who's calling asking questions? I, I see, Mr. Lawrence. So, is uh, Mrs. Corbett a public servant? Okay, great. Um, I was just wondering if you think as a supervisor it is appropriate for a public servant to hang up on a member of the public. Okay, so you're saying it depends. Maybe, okay, I mean, I, I hear that, I, you know, everything is relative, but my, my, the question I was asking her was, like, why is a permit required to use the electricity in um, the central square? I'm, I'm really trying to understand this, it's, I'm really confused. Oh. Are, are they the boss of the police? Oh, okay, I, I'm not sure I know what that means. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Lawrence, but I'm not sure I know what that means. I have to speak with members of an organization. Yeah, like who, who's... Okay. Okay, well, Mr. Lawrence, I hope you'll forgive me if I sound naive, but I, I really don't know what a permit is, but it sounds like the word permission, and so I'm wondering whose permission do I need to ask for their electricity? Like whose electricity is it so I can speak with them and get their permission? Okay, so is there an individual who owns it, or...? Okay, and that is uh, City Hall on the second floor? Or the first floor or something? Okay, and so I'll just go in during business hours and beg permission to use electricity and do it. Is that what you're asking me to do, or else what? Like. Okay, I mean, I, I, so I understand that now, um, but now I'm just curious what would be the consequence if I used the electricity without asking permission? Is um, so a fine, and I so I would I owe I would owe the who money? Who who would I owe money to? Oh yeah, no problem. M my question is, to whom would I be paying the money f for the fine? Would it be to the owner of the electricity, or to like the police, or? I see. Okay. And so, Mr. Lawrence, is it fair to say that you, your organization works as sort of a collections agency? Well...
by enforce, that has the word force in it. I'm just wondering, y you do mean use of actual force, right? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not... Okay, well, you know, I really appreciate you taking my call today, Mr. Lawrence, because I was really shaken um, by my encounter with um, the uh, individuals in question today. I've, um, I, I just felt really um, like it, it wasn't right that someone who I didn't know ha came up to me in a really threatening stance and had a gun and mace and, you know, a scary uniform and she touched my property and that's just, if it were a stranger, which she was, you know, I, I would, I would call foul on that. That's, you know, not an appropriate way to behave toward any individual is to touch their property and, and pretend like it's yours. So, I mean, is, was, is that a violation of police code or ethics or is, is there some line that I crossed that maybe you can fill me in about? Like, when did that property become hers? Yeah, yeah. She she pulled the plug on on my uh, um, amp. I just said, you know, I had a PA. Yeah, well, she asked me to stop using it, and I was asking questions because this is really foreign to me. Your whole system and and how this whole thing works. I I really didn't understand why it was happening. So I was just trying to find out why they there and what were they doing. Okay. Okay. Who who owns Central's? I see. And who owns Central Square? Is that a private property or is that like a business? Okay, and who's the city of Keene? Is that city council? Um, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if you, you heard this report also, but I, I felt like my, my friend was being harassed when, uh, um, gosh, Corbett, uh, off Mrs. Corbett, she told my friend to pick up his ashes when he ashed his cigarette. Oh, okay, great, because I, I just felt like that was really, you know, bad or not, I mean, that was really a lot to be asking someone to pick up their ashes in the mud, like, come on. I don't know, I don't mean to ask your opinion on that or anything, but I, I just wanted to make sure you spoke with her. Oh, okay, well, that, that makes me very uh, happy to hear that there is some accountability there. And I, I really want to reiterate that I appreciate you taking my call today, Mr. Lawrence, and, um, you know, I, I just thank you for, for being open and candid with me. Okay, and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Bye-bye.